this is Saad and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be telling you how to fix Ethernet doesn't have a valid IP configuration in Windows 11. So let's begin. First of all you'll have to go to your search. Over here you'll have to type in settings and then click on settings. Now you'll have to click on network and internet. Over here you'll have to then select advanced network settings. Now select network reset and then click on reset now. After resetting your network settings you'll have to restart your PC. For fix 2 you'll have to again go to your search and then you'll have to type in CMD. Now you'll have to click on this and right click on this and then click on run column slash reset log dot txt and then click on enter. As you can see you have to restart the computer to complete this action and then restart your computer from the start menu over here. Now you'll have to again open CMD and then run it as administrator. Now you'll have to again type this NETSH space windsock space and then reset. After typing this in hit enter on your keyboard and then your windsock catalog would be restart and you'll have to again restart your computer now you have to type in ipconfig slash flush dns ipconfig and then there should be a space slash flush dns and then click on ok now you have to restart your computer and your problem should be solved for an additional fix You'll have to go to your control panel. To go to your control panel, just go to search and then type in control panel and then hit enter. Over here, click on network and internet and then click on network and sharing center. Now you'll have to click on change adapter settings and then click on your ethernet connection and then click on properties. Now you'll have to click on internet protocol version 4 and then again click on properties over here. Now you'll have to click on use the following DNS server addresses. Over here you'll have to type in 1111 and then 1001 and then click on OK. This should fix your problem and if this didn't work then again you'll have to go to your search. In search you'll have to type in device manager and then click on the first option over here. In device manager you'll have to click on the small arrow beside network adapters and then you'll have to select your adapter. You'll have to right click on it and then click on uninstall device over here. Now you'll have to click on uninstall. After this you'll have to click over here scan for hardware changes. After this close this and restart your computer. Your problem should be solved now. For more similar videos like this do subscribe to our channel. We'll meet in the next video till then peace out.